my name is Leslie Hinkle. I am from California originally. Um, I guess I associate more with Northern California, even though I was born in Ventura, Southern California, spent childhood down there. But um, I think the formative years happened in Northern California, so I associate a little more with Sacramento and the Bay Area. Um, so that's me. And I guess if I had to describe myself in a few words, it would be uh, interested in everything and always searching for <laughs> more. <laughs> in New York, I, I'm involved in a lot of things that I'm not, that are not necessarily my interests, or, or not, that's the wrong word. Um, for example, I'm involved in this like folk music community, but I don't play folk music, um, really, but I'm really interested in it, and I started off helping to book at a, a music venue, and from there, um, it grew into just sort of being a part of this community a little bit um, in Brooklyn, and that's just one example. <laughs> so I'm, I'm interested in other people's interests, as well as searching out kind of um, through art and writing, um, what my own interests are and where that's taking me and that kind of thing. But I think there's, there's a place for people to, there's, there are ways for people to participate in communities that, that don't seem like they would include them um, through, I don't know, documentation or promotion or, you know, doing sketches of <laughs> musicians, for example, or it seems like I, I get involved in activities like that and it always turns into something else. Like I end up, um, for example, my, in my last job I worked for a craft book publisher, so there'd be all these like crafty events and then it turned into me meeting um, a now friend of mine who has a nonprofit sewing bags, just like sewing reusable bags. And so I got involved in that. And then through involvement in, you know, folk music communities, I pulled, you know, musicians into these bag making events um, that ha happened to tie into like environmentalism. And then there'd be like, we'd be at like food, like farmers um, markets and We'd be doing things at um, like green fairs and stuff like that. So I don't know. I just, I like how New York is very conducive to communities kind of spreading out and tying into other communities. <laughs> Having been here eight years, I do consider it home, but I feel like my concept of home can change. Um, it, as long as, people that are close to me are with me still. Home just kind of travels <laughs> wherever I and they travel, I think. Um, for example, uh, last, was it last, in two, the end of 2010, um, <laughs> my husband actually had a crazy idea to move his sister and brother-in-law uh, well, they were moving to New Zealand anyway, but he decided that a really great way to move them would be to we all get on a sailboat and do it. And none of us had sailing experience. <laughs> so we took like a year to get sailing experience, and then we had another friend come in on, on the whole thing with us. And so we bought a used boat with the intention of we get to New Zealand and we sell it and then figure out what we're doing from there. So we ended up um, going, the boat was based in Ventura, and then we worked on it, and then we sailed it March of 2011, and then took a year to get to New Zealand. <laughs> so that, and that became home. <laughs> um, so some, sometimes, I mean, 
sometimes I refer to home as, as you know, where my parents live, but usually I still refer to, like, I just call this home. Um, I guess I think of it, maybe I think of it differently, like, home of the past, kind of. It's, it's sort of a different thing, I guess, um, now that I'm talking about it. Uh, yeah, it, does, it feels like going to another place that, has, that just has like breadcrumbs I left behind of myself or something. Like there's just like weird artifacts that <laughs> were part of my life but are no longer part of my life. Um, but yeah, that's a, it's, it's strange to think of that at, as home and be able to relate to it in like that kind of nostalgic way. But when I'm there, I don't, I don't, I guess I don't feel like it's part of my life, my current life. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think that's home for me is very fluid.